All right, what, what, what we're doing here today is taking the tags off of these covers for the John Deere one and a half horsepower Model E. And if you see there, somebody's painted around this tag there. Pretty good job, but there is a reason to take these off. Uh, if you're doing a rebuild, repair, and you're going to call that, uh, well, I would just take them off. Uh, and I will show you why here. The way I do it is, uh, I use this hammer here and I just knock the, the pin, if you can see there, from the back side through and then what I do is I find a, <clears throat> a pin that is let's see pretty much the same size maybe just a little bit smaller as this one is and I'll set it right in there like so and then just hit and you see it, it went all the way through there so we know that on the other side that tag is that one there is pushed all the way out we'll just go right ahead and get this one here now if you got an engine sitting there and the tag just doesn't look uh, like it's supposed to and most of the time if it is an original tag it needs to be removed and cleaned and I say removed and clean tag cleaned up behind the tag is uh, the whole reason why I'm doing this if it wasn't for me just knowing how dirty and rusty and I mean just uh, I mean it is really as you can see there it's just built up on there and if you are doing a complete rebuild on the engine this is just something that uh, you need to do and then what we'll do we'll clean this tag up front and back straighten it out without flattening out the the numbers there and we'll probably just use the these here uh, it's a real good fit uh, they're going to look real good uh, it should look new you see I had to knock that one out uh, that's how good it fits so we'll put this over in electrolysis clean all this up and uh, clean the tag up and we'll put that back on there now this cover and this cover are totally different as you see one has all this right in here Waterloo gasoline engine company and this one just says John Deere as you see there there is another one and it's this one here which says manufactured by John Deere this one says manufactured by Waterloo gasoline company and I believe this would be the earlier one then along came this one and then I believe this one was the the, the last one uh, the earliest engines will have these on it with out the brass tag both of these do have brass tags well that one did uh, and this one too I, I'll, I'll, I'll remove this one and uh, do the same thing uh, pretty nice paint on this but you see the back side there is just really uh, just really dirty oh yeah and this is really easy you don't need a, a big hammer nothing nothing like that and you see how easy that was just to pop that out there I mean it's not uh, 
it's not hard it should be done on every rebuild is why I'm stressing on how easy it is um, especially the tags that are up there on the hopper uh, just, just just get that tag off there and uh, clean it up because you do not want that uh, behind let me see if I can and I mean it is really you see there how much that just cleaned that up that little bit and I'll straighten out this end here get that off there it's rusted fast to it hopefully without breaking that there I may start from this side and just kind of work myself around there to it like so and I think this tag was just the whole tag it didn't have holes in it and I think either somebody set it up there and hit it through or uh, it was machine popped in there but I doubt I bet, I bet that was a manual job reason why I think it was pushed through this uh, real thin brass piece is because of how that is pushed that way like it was pushed through uh, not like it was punched and then set up there and then pushed through so well let's see if this is uh, really stuck fast on there yeah. most of the time when you have brass against metal or vice versa uh, it's easy to get apart it's not as hard as there we go there's that tag and then what I do out of camera shots y'all can't see me but the vice is right over here and I'll, I'll just hit this a couple times and just flatten that out kind of straightening it up uh, with this hammer here which is a very light easy to control hammer and that's what you want you want to be in control when you're messing with uh, this thin tag like this alright what I did was I did straighten out them ends and it looks pretty good and we'll clean that up like I said and put that joker back on there oh it's gonna look good it's gonna look good we are building three one and a half horsepower and then I will have a fourth uh, one and a half horsepower that will be put together but uh, and painted and you know everything but it will be a couple parts incomplete uh, maybe missing a governor igniter uh, magneto you know uh, we will run one of these off a uh, battery and a coal we will run one off of that we may even try to convert one over to a spark plug so don't hold me to that I may be getting ahead of myself when I said that so just remember that, that I did say it if it comes up if it don't don't uh, don't hold it against me. These are two one and a half horsepower heads. This one looks really good. I, I did electros this. I do have to cut the seats there and uh, put the new valves in. I, I do already have the valves. And uh, this is one that has been through electrolysis once, and we will put this back in there. It needs to go through again. Uh, these are some valves out of a car that I am going to try to use uh, maybe not in these first two that I build but uh, the third or fourth one I, I will try to, to cut this valve off drill me a uh, hole through there same length as the original valves I do need a muffler uh, somebody stopped by the house the other day and uh, I hadn't uh, the muffler was broke off in there and they showed me how to get that out uh, really easy um, I will not let that pass on another one uh, I, I, I will always get them out from this point forward 
and all you do is saw off your broke off pipe level and just take your uh, chisel there and grind it down to a point uh, kind of like a diamond maybe and then you stick it there right on the lip of where your broke off part would, would uh, start and take a big hammer not this little one and just hit that joker until you either cut through it all the way not cutting into threads and it just collapses or until you peel it back uh, if I had one I, I, I would just set it up here and we just peel it off uh, but, but I don't have one to do so something else uh, that I want to bring to everybody's attention while we are talking about these side covers this is a three horsepower Model E John Deere same deal with that tag we will remove that tag we'll put this in electrolysis probably with these other ones and just electrolysis them all at one time these with the paint will be real easy I mean that, that paint's gonna peel right off there a matter of uh, hour in there it's gonna, it'll peel right off so this one with all the rust will take probably two times of putting this one in there these here if they someone didn't paint over the rust uh, we, sh we shouldn't have any problem with these this should be an easy in and out of electrolysis uh, I, 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 I did have a thought about painting the first two brass tag uh, one and a half horsepower I, I will paint them John Deere green this one here with this tag I, I'm kind of kicking around painting this engine pink my kids have been uh, talking about me painting one pink and my wife mentioned it the other day and uh, so we may uh, paint one pink I, I'm kind of on the fence there I thought yeah I'm gonna do it and then I thought I don't know but uh, after I get these two painted up and videoed and sold one of them is already sold actually I, I'm I'm rebuilding it for the guy that bought the engine from me and the other one I'm building to sell uh, to get some money together to fund some other things I'm trying to put together so and then this pink one will be one of them deals where if if the kids just aren't attached to it I probably will put that one on eBay and just see how it does uh, with the reserve uh, these engines are going to be totally rebuilt I mean from from this boat to that boat to a tag to whatever we're going to take it apart put new bushings in it we're going to do it all it's not uh we're not going to cut no corners if it's a part that needs repaired or broke or fixed we are going to repair it or we're going to replace it one of the two if it is above my learning my knowledge uh i will seek someone to uh to get that done so and i'll be the first one to tell you uh when it's above my uh knowledge uh, doing but sometimes you just have to get out the book and you, you, you just have to sit down and read the book uh, right definitely write that down sometimes you just got to get the book out and read it and all this is, is in a book somewhere uh, someone else has removed them tags at one time uh, there's been oh some more uh, seats cut uh, so we we will determine whether we need a valve guide uh, we want that to be really 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 a good fit uh, and I and I, I, I do think some of y'all know why we want that to be a real good fit but what we'll do is we'll, we'll just kind of uh, demonstrate here that this is a John Deere original valve and you see that thing has been ground and I mean I mean it, it, it is almost to the point of being sharp right there and what happens is if you put this in and you do everything you're supposed to do and it is a perfect fit you will not have no side to side play you see how that's going side to side there so what that does is one time it may come down on that side and you see the gap there and at one time it may come down on the other side so it actually wallers out here or here usually here 
is where you'll see the uh, non-uniformed line around your valve because it's um, came down the seat a different way every time that side side and back fourth play is not a good thing for